about the situation with the United States. I explained, we expect earthquakes, and we expect a new dimension in the snapping of the southern hemisphere, the American continent, from the northern hemisphere. And since then, we have seen, even this morning, uh, the number of earthquakes around the west coast of uh, uh, United States and South America. And this morning, as we talk in these teachings, we know there is a standoff uh, tsunami alert on the west coast of Chile at 8.3 in the water earthquake. We just seen the videos of it coming through and uh, they're waiting for the tsunami. We saw the earthquake on uh, Sunday around 6.6, 6.9. And I've been asked to explain more. This is my thinking and not, not necessarily what you might see. This is my assumption. And in the past two weeks, we've seen what won in advance it will happen. This is the shape of the American continent. And then this is the South America. Then you have whatever and you have the uh, Panama. We've seen earthquake on this point. We've seen three earthquakes, 6.6 .6 and to 6.9 on Sunday. We have seen three earthquakes on the Panama Straits, and now we've seen the earthquake in Chile at 8.3. Northern American continent is part of the Panja, will never break up. It holds on to Panja, which means the five continents, the original Panja. But the Southern American continent is the snapping at the point of the weakest. We expect earthquakes between 10 to 16, and in one occasion, 20 to 24 if the scale, when the snapping happens. The position with this is that most of the Mexico and the Mexican Gulf will be hit with a huge tsunamis. At this point, these are all my private, personal thinking. And as two weeks before, I opened the door in announcing it, now we've seen the movement. This can settle down in by end of this month, and then or expand rapidly or die till next autumn. Then we'll see the completion of it. So, this area, west coast of America, we expect anything between 6 to 9 to 11 point Richter scale earthquakes. The way it works, what we see from the um, earthquake of Sunday, we wait for more of this to come, is that the top layer, if you look at it, has gone to 10 kilometers. So you have an intermediary layer, and then you have the lava. It's the lava which is moving this, and the interaction between the middle layer and the top layer is causing the separation to come. So we expect a huge drop. Anything in the coming weeks in a larger scale, unless we find a position of block. If the position of block comes, Panama Canal will close totally, which means it literally stops open. There will be no canal, Panama Canal in the next few months or next coming years. The Panja will not move, and the way it is, is that this continent is moving this way. This is snapping, and the change of magnetic field of the flow of magma is pushing it through. I expect anything up to the North Canadian coast, and at the same time, a movement again on the Chinese uh, West Coast, East Coast and Japan. Most probably, with what is happening now, we'll see movement on this side to adjust these two movements, and then it'll start. I still put my estimates around 10 to 20 million loss on the west coast of the United States, both continents, north and south, and on the east coast, just about the same. Huge losses in Caribbean. These will be tsunami, these will be through earthquake, and what we know from Mexican City and Northern America. 
this is my thoughts, this is not the scaremongering, but what we've seen in past seven days is showing the correctness of the thoughts. We never seen this kind of earthquakes in the past time in these zones in such a sequence. This is nothing has to happen, and this has repercussion on releasing this continent to move a slightly that way to push the Asian continent, and we see a number of series of earthquakes in North China on the Silk Line coast in the coming weeks and days. So, what we see is their movement into the Central America is essentially, if you're on the West Coast, and the people in this zone of Central America have no chance. They have to stand there by and see what the consequences are. We've seen the videos today coming from Chile, just a few minutes ago with Arman. Uh, even the swimming pools are floating like the tsunami, what we saw. So, this is a, a school of thought. Uh, by accident, I had to disclose it, as our friend in the island asked us, Dominica. And the problem with this situation is, the economical point of the world will collapse. We've been trying for two weeks now to get access with funds to the island. We transferred money through, but it's not even arriving. The banks are not releasing money because of the disaster. This is a smaller scale of what's going to happen in the coming time. The banking order will not support such a disaster, and we'll see as we discussed. I hope it will not happen this way, but for what I know, this is a knowledge I passed on to some people over the past six months, 12 months. So it's not something new. It's inevitable. The continent breakup is inevitable. And movement of Chile in such a larger scale, it means the bottom plate has already let go. Uh, 